Hey, this is Mark Silver and Jim Reinbold. We're going to import some survey data and we're going to build a drawing and we're going to use both grid and ground. So I'm going to make a new drawing, the scale to a thousand. It's fairly large. We'll give it a name. For our coordinate file, I'm going to use the existing CRD file. It's in the same folder, so I can just pick it from the list. And we'll draw and locate these points. So I've got three points. Let's go in and tell Carlson what our projection is. We can do that under Settings, Drawing Setup. We'll tell it the projection is State Plane 1983. This particular job is in Utah North. And these are NAD83 coordinates. Now, for our report settings, we need to tell it that it's a grid system. And for our report settings, I want to calculate a scale factor. And I'm going to calculate that scale factor for one point. And I need to go from grid to ground. So I'll click on calculate. That looks good. Click on OK. OK again. Let's connect these three points by line. Draw 2D polyline. I'll take the defaults here. You might want to zoom in a little bit there so you make sure you're getting the node snap and not the intersection snap on your point. We've got a nice polyline between these three points. Let's come up, show you that here's my annotate distance things. We're going to go in here and choose our annotation defaults. And on our distance selection, we're going to label first and second. And we're going to append G and D to our second distance. And we're going to put it in brackets so that we'll know that it's different from ground. Looks good. Click on Bearing Distance. Hopefully if we zoom in here. So we have our grid distance, and then our ground distance is labeled ground and is inside of brackets. So for the last 20 years, I've been doing everything at ground and then coming back and bringing it to grid and trying to keep everything match up. A while ago, I decided it's just easier to do everything in grid in the field. This allows me to do all my field work in grid and then express ground distances on my drawing. And Carlson's one of the few companies that allows you to have that that second label for distance that's independent of the actual system that you're operating in. So you're in a grid system but we can label it in something else. Thanks for watching. 